So you want to play a Tale of Two Wastelands, well then this is the guide for you. I'll keep this as concise as possible while being as informative as I'm able. Like my other guide for how to use Wabajack, here's a list of what we'll be doing as we're doing it and it'll update as we go through each step. Every link I use in the video will be in the description. Here we go. Step 1. If you don't already own Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 with all their respective DLCs, pause and come back to this step later. <laughs> Jokes aside, we're going to install both of these games. Make sure that prior to installing though that the directories are completely empty. They should be complete empty folders. Uh, now, once you've done that, launch them at least once so we can generate some fresh any files and once you've done that, congrats! Now for step 2. TTW does work with Vortex, and if you're interested, I can create a video for that. However, I encourage using MO2 whenever possible. If for no other reason, then it's the mod manager that we'll be using in this guide. For the sake of simplicity, head over to Nexus, grab Mod Organizer 2, link in the description. Download, and once complete, run the EXE we've just grabbed. You'll be prompted with where you'd like to install MO2. I recommend a location where you have any other modding tools, or really anywhere is fine. Next, you'll be asked which components to install. Just continue clicking next until you see finished and then click that as well. So as you noticed, it now wants us to select the game we want to manage. Select TTW, then Steam, and if you'd like to use the tutorial, by all means go for it. However, we will not for the intent of this guide. Select no, and then do nothing. Congrats! <laughs> step three. This is a step where you'll be getting the TTW mod itself which you could go on to use in like pre-configured mod lists like Wabajack and whatnot. Um, with that being said, you want to visit mod.pub, link in the description. On the top row, click Tale of Two Wastelands, hover over to Files, click that, and now download the installer. Once complete, extract the installer to a location of your choosing. Select ttwinstall.exe, launch, point the Fallout 3 and New Vegas paths to their respective installation locations. Yours may look a little bit different than mine, but I assure you, it's perfectly fine. The bottom path, however, you'll want to create a folder for this one and name it something recognizable, as this will be where the mod is placed once complete. For example, I named mine Folder for TTW. Whatever you choose in the end, though, hit Browse and select the path that leads to that location. Once you've done that, click Install. This process can vary from CPU to CPU. I recommend closing any other applications. Once the process is completed, go to the folder you created, zip it. This is the mod itself. We'll be leaving this here for now, but we'll be back for it later. But anyway, congrats on accomplishing step three. Now for step four. We're nearly there. For this step, we're gonna wanna download some essential mods to create a more stable experience. I'll explain how to install the more complex mods, but as for the rest of these, it's as simple as dragging and dropping. So to start off with, we have New Vegas Script Extender. You wanna download and extract. Afterwards, drop the contents directly into your New Vegas directory. 4GB Patcher. Download and extract like before, place the EXE within your New Vegas directory, run it. And as you see, it wants you to tap any key, do so, and there you go. Now, for New Vegas Heap Replacer. Download and extract once again, place the contents into your New Vegas directory, and then there you go. In MO2, right-click and select Create Separator, name this Utilities, and then place the following mods into the category. All of these, you'll just be simply downloading and dropping the zip mods into MO2. Once you've done this entire list of mods, congrats, and I'm proud of you. You got it. Now, uh, the rest of this, just a walk in the park. Step 5. Now, this is a super simple and easy step. Go to MO2, right-click and create a separator above. Name this TTW, and then remember that zip folder from earlier. We're going to drag that and drop that into that category. Afterwards, simply go to the description and copy this massive wall of text. Head back to MO2, click the any editor, and then fallout custom.any. Paste the text you've just copied into this, hit save, and that's it. Now you can hit play. If you get a pop-up that says any file is read-only, just select clear the read-only flag and then get out there into the wasteland. I hope this guide helped you guys out and was easy to follow. Leave any questions you might have in the comment section if I didn't go over a certain part well enough, and uh, I'll try to help you out. But anyway, that's it for me, fellas. See you later.